Hello everybody, it's Mr. Bill here back again and I'm the head teacher of Atwood Primary Academy which is situated in Sarnestead in South Croydon and today is Monday the 13th of July and this is a very special uh, head teacher vlog because in this vlog I will be detailing all of the plans and all of the information that you will need to know as parents for the return of all children from September. So stay tuned, please do uh, be patient and try and get through to the end of the video. It's going, to be a nice, it's going to be a long one, but hopefully there's a lot of information here that will ease your anxieties and answer your questions. And then there's also sort of uh, a bit of an outside broadcast of showing you the one way system that I'll be talking about where to drop off your children, when to, where to collect them and so on. So um, without further ado, um, obviously, we know that uh, we would like to welcome all children back from September and, of course, to get that uh, safely done, um, my senior leadership team and the Board of Governors have uh, written a very uh, complex and uh, in-depth risk assessment and we've got a range of systems of control in place that I want to share with you. Now, first thing I want to say is that we've got to work as a team between school and families if we're going to uh, keep everybody safe. So it's in that spirit of uh, teamwork and community that I give you this information. Now, um, we're going to be introducing five key protocols. I will go through these now. And these are protocols for parents. And we expect all parents to adhere to these protocols whilst they're with us on our ground. So protocol number one is um, you are to always wear a face covering whilst on Atwood's grounds and remain one meter plus uh, away from others including Atwood staff. We also expect you to sanitize your hands and your children's hands upon entry onto the grounds. Now protocol number two uh, we expect all parents to always follow the one-way system every day, even if this means doing more than one circuit around the one-way system. And that's probably most likely if you have siblings. Protocol number three, please do not enter the office. Use the post box, the email and the phone. And protocol number four, please do not linger. It is straight in and straight out. Children are not to play on any of the equipment before or after school or indeed on the playground, etc. Protocol number five is please do not engage the teachers in conversations. Please use a note, uh, an email to the school office also if you need to pass on some important information. OK, let's move on. Now, um, attendance. So from September, it is compulsory that all children attend school unless they are complying with the government medical advice. So the children will be being taught in their own class, in their own classroom, but we have put the following measures in place. The children will be sitting side by side as furniture and classrooms allow. The children will be facing the front wherever possible uh, due, due to um, classroom layouts and furniture. The children will be given their own pencil and pen and will be expected to look after that carefully and Atwood will be providing those. The expectation is that children need their own named water bottle which will be provided from home. Please also provide your child with a small packet of tissues uh, to use but also we have some stocks of tissues in class. And then finally, please send your child in with a pocket-sized hand sanitizer as well, although we also have a plentiful supply. Now, we've mentioned before in one of the protocols that uh, new for September, the expectation is that all parents wear a face covering, uh, and that is going to be mandatory. And this is because there is a much greater risk of transmission through the air uh, because we've got many more social interactions possible with more parents coming back. We've spoken about strict social distancing and so we expect all parents to keep one meter plus from other families 
uh, and we also have said about no lingering before the end or uh, before school or at the end of school. Now I want to talk about hygiene and good respiratory protocols. So in order to keep safe every member of our school community, we need to practice good levels of hand washing and respiratory hygiene at all times. So therefore there will be frequent opportunities for children and staff to wash their hands thoroughly and sanitize them, of course, and we are expecting that all members of the community, including the children, of course, practice the catch it, bin it, kill it regime. Now let's talk about staffing. We are going to try and um, minimize uh, staff crossing uh, class-based bubbles. Uh, but of course there will be um, staff that have to uh, support children in uh, across uh, year groups or class bubbles. But we're going to give them strict guidance about social distancing and going back to the hand hygiene or respiratory hygiene as well. Now this is very, very important. What to do if there are suspected COVID-19 cases either at school or at home. This is an absolute key system of control in order to minimize contact with individuals who are unwell. We must minimize that contact. It is paramount that staff and families adhere to government advice if displaying any of the symptoms of COVID-19. If you do or your child does display any of the symptoms, you are not I repeat, you are not to come into school until you've booked a COVID test and you have let the school know as soon as possible the results. We need to engage as schools with the Track and Trace NHS government programme and also we have very clear local authority guidance that has been provided for Croydon schools and we will let you know the outcomes of any tests and it could well be that we have to shut an entire class an entire year group and ask them to self-isolate for 14 days. So it's very important we work as a team on this one. Now, we've mentioned before how the children are going to be grouped and how they're going to travel around the school. So um, the classes are going to be uh, uh, bubble sized classes uh, and we are putting in protective factors including minimal contact with other children from other classes and we are making sure that the children and the adults walk around inside uh, in another strict one-way system walking on the left throughout school and where we have got the large spaces so for example the hall the computer suite and so on the music room we will be making sure that these are cleaned down before uh, use by the next bubble now I want to talk to you about PE and school uniform now. So as of the 14th of September, that is when PE starts up again, it commences. So your child on the days that the class teacher says that they will be doing PE must come to school in PE kit. So there will be no changing into PE kit. Uh, until further notice. They're to come to school in their PE kit on their PE day, uh, which will include appropriate trainers and also because the weather may turn, you need to provide your child with appropriate uh, joggers, uh, dark coloured joggers, so black joggers are fine, dark blue are fine, but please no tight leggings because this removes the issues around the children getting changed, the lost property, use of things like cloakrooms, too many bags, etc. Now, talking of which, let's talk about uh, school uniform and bags. So please be aware that uh, the children will be expected to wear their normal school uniform, including appropriate school shoes, unless it's a PE day, of course. Children must return wearing their school uniforms in September. And so I ask you to please bear this in mind uh, over the summer holidays because uh, of those shoe fittings and so on. So make sure you leave yourself plenty of time to get the new school shoes. Now bags, very important. We are trying to minimise use of cloakrooms and cut down on just the sheer amount of stuff in school that could harbour any of the uh, 
virus. So children will only need to bring in a named book bag, which if you haven't got one, you can purchase one from the office or find a suitable uh, slim flat book bag from uh, somewhere like uh, Poundland or Home Bargains or The Range, those kind of shops. Please do not put accessories on them, such as key rings. I know they're popular, but again, they harbour uh, bacteria, virus, etc. They do not need a bulky PE bag or PE kit bag. Okay, no bulky bags. We will be concentrating a lot on home reading because we feel that the children will need a real boost of their home reading. So we will be getting back into the regime of sending books home and you sending them back. And before issuing them out again, one of the Atwood team will sanitize the covers of the book using some wipes and so on before they're being reissued. Now let's talk about remote learning. Thank you very much for engaging with remote learning over the far past few months. Your feedback has been really valuable to us. There will still be a case where we might need to use remote learning, and that could be if a class, a small group, or maybe some individuals need to self-isolate. If there's a local lockdown in Croydon, and we have to, as a whole school, have to um, go into lockdown, we will step up the remote learning again. Or if a pupil is unable to attend because they're complying with any clinical and or public health advice. Now let's think about our curriculum. So what will the children be learning? Well, as ever at Atwood, we will be providing an ambitious, broad and balanced curriculum in all of our subjects from September. And that's going to be via the planned curriculum, which obviously is on our website for you to have a look at. Um, and also we're trying our very hardest to catch up on any gaps in learning that may have occurred due to not coming into school. And we will be doing a lot of intervention programs, concentrating on basic skills and getting the children back into the everyday regime of school. But to help them settle into school life again, they're going to be starting with a wonderful topic lasting a couple of weeks called Atwood at 60. And then in mid-September, they'll start up their formal learning uh, more. Now let's talk about cleaning across the school. We will be enhancing our cleaning schedule for areas such as corridors, toilets, light switches, handrails, door handles, etc. We will have a cleaner on site pretty much uh, each and every day during the day as well as before and after school and any areas that are being used by multiple groups or bubbles of children will have a clean down between each um, kind of sitting or use. Uh, PE and play equipment will also be cleaned as will uh, things like the trim trail and the climbing bars and so on. Now, as mentioned previously, breakfast, after school clubs uh, and after school care just formally saying that there will be no wraparound care uh, or clubs until further notice. It's almost impossible to adequately staff this sort of provision whilst adhering to the government guidelines, but we will be consistently uh, reviewing this as we understand how important this is for families. So as soon as it is safe to do so, we will be opening up these provisions. There's an awful lot of information about dropping off and collecting your child. I won't go into too much detail here because it's all in the letter and it's in the video coming up. I'm scrolling down now on my screen. I just wanted to talk about siblings though, in terms of dropping off and picking up. There's no easy way to organize such a large number of parents and children and maintain social distancing. So that we're asking in the case of siblings, you adhere to your particular year group's timings, even if that means going round the one-way circuit a couple of times. We thank you for your cooperation. Uh, we know it's an ambitious plan to keep everybody safe. And like I said at the beginning, it's only going to work if we work as a team. Now, we have contingency plans in place. Should we have to go into a local lockdown or the situations change over the next week or so? We know we're coming up for our six-week summer vacation. I will communicate with you even over the summer if plans change, so please do keep an ear out 
And please, 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 please do click subscribe on the YouTube channel because this is the most effective way that I can get information across, uh, which also um, kind of bolsters and strengthens any communication in letter form as well. Now, personally, I would really like to take this opportunity in thanking you for all of your kind support, your kind words over the last few months. I know that despite the situation that we found ourselves in, none of our choosing, we as a school of Atwood are a stronger school for everything. I really look forward to leading the children, families and staff into the next academic year. I know there'll be bumps in the road, but listen, we can do this. We have been a really strong and tight team together between school and home, and I don't see that there's any issue in that uh, continuing. So in the meantime, please, if I don't see you personally, have a wonderful summer vacation, and I will see you in September. Take care now. Hello, it's Mr. Hill back again. Of course, uh, one of the aspects that uh, we hadn't discussed in the previous bit of uh, the video was packed lunches and school dinners. So we are lucky enough to have two halls at Atwood. We've got the infant hall and the junior hall. So the arrangements are going to be if your child is going to have uh, a packed lunch, sent in with a packed lunch, they will be having this in the infant hall and the school dinners will have their school dinners in the junior hall. So we're going to be looking at having uh, 60 in a uh, large bubble. So we're going to also be staggering the timings across the session. So essentially, uh, if your child is in reception, once they start coming back uh, to eat their packed lunch, so to speak, or their school dinner, their sitting is going to be 11.20 to 11.45. So either in the junior hall or the infant hall. And then years one and two, uh, you're going to be eating uh, 11.45 to 12.10. Uh, years three and four, 12.15 to 12.45. Then we're going to have a cleaning gap. Uh, and then finally years five uh, and six, 12.55 to 1.15. So hopefully that uh, kind of negates the fact of uh, children having to eat in their classrooms. Um, but one thing to note that uh, certainly I've got to take into consideration is that the infant hall has carpet. So we've got to do everything we can to encourage the children to uh, eat sensibly and without dropping too much food on the carpet. I'm just uh, going through looking at uh, getting some decorators plastic sheeting to stick onto the carpet to protect it as much as we can. So uh, it's all fun here with the, <laughs> with the arrangements, but uh, I'm hoping that that's going to be a, a workable a workable choice from September. Thanks a lot. Bye now. Hello everybody, it's Mr Veal here and I wanted just to go through the new arrangements for dropping off and picking up the children from September uh, and these are really important because things have changed so I wanted to go through these with you. Now we've just got uh, five principles that I want you to all adhere to and if you don't watch the rest of the video, which I'm really hoping that you're going to, these are the five principles that I want you to take away from this video. So first one is that as of September, every adult coming onto the school grounds will need to wear an appropriate face covering. So all of the time they are on school grounds, adults will need to wear an appropriate face covering. The second key principle is that there is no lingering, it is simply on and off site as quick as possible. We understand that it might be very tempting to chat, but there simply isn't that possibility to do that. The third key principle is social distancing. So at all times, whilst you are with us on site, we expect that you keep one meter plus from everybody else, apart from your own children, of course. Now, the fourth key principle is unfortunately, there is no chatting with the staff. Even though that this is very, very tempting, uh, just to give that quick message, unfortunately we have not the capacity to have those quick chats. We're not being rude, it's just one of those things. And the last 
key principle number five is that there will be no access to the school office until further notice and so the ways that you get in contact with the school are as you've been doing email phone or the post box so that's the key principles but now in the video what I would like to do is show you the new arrangements now from September we really do need to reduce the amount of adults that are coming onto the school site and so the first main point here is that children in years five and six we would like you to say goodbye to your children at the lower gate the gate nearest the Limpsfield Road and the expectation is that they will walk into site on their own and uh, they will do their sanitization and they will find themselves round to their classroom they're old enough and responsible enough to do that so that's the main thing September years five and six the children will be dropped off by their parents or uh, if you've signed the walking to and from uh, form which is available on our website and you give permission for them to do that of course they can walk all the way from home and from uh, and back again now we know that that's not necessarily going to work in terms of safeguarding for the end of the day and so um, unless your child is authorized to walk home on their own we will only be allowing one uh, parent to come on site to pick up children in years five and six and actually that's a good general rule we're only allowing one parent or carer uh, for their children we're not allowing two now the first thing to note is that we will be entering our site on the right hand side and not the left hand side as we've been doing since March so we will be coming along the right hand path and you will see that you are to keep to the path we have got our barriers and our cones and you will see here on this table this is where we would expect everybody to sanitize and you can see that we have got many more tables it's a windy day today so we haven't got the sanitizing <laughs> bottles out because they kept blowing away uh, but also we will have some tables along this side here a little bit like a marathon when uh, the runners are getting their water we know that there will be a lot more of you coming back in September and so we are going to be putting in extra tables for you and of course we're keeping on here and because of safeguarding the gate is shut so I'm going to leave you here and then pick you up on the other side okay we're back on the main site now and as you can see we are still on the right hand path and everybody is expected to walk along the path we're following a very strict one-way system now in school and so everybody is required to cross on the crossing until they get to this point now you will notice that this is outside the office the signage will change here now it will be left so going left down to here if your child is in nursery or reception and you can see that we've got the barriers as well so your entrance will be down here and through the gates and a member of our staff will be here to greet you so nursery and reception I'm going to pause here and then pick it back up again at the zebra crossing now you can see I'm back outside the office and so if you're in years one through to six you are going to be turning right we'll talk about that in a moment but just to reiterate there is no entrance into the school office for adults and the methods of communication are the post box which you know is just here or phone or email okay so years one to six will be following this way now the keen observers amongst you have noticed that we said goodbye to the tires and we've bought some crash barriers we do not know how long this regime is going to go on for but we feel that the crash barriers are a little bit more effective and a little safer okay and as you come around the corner you will know that you come through the quiet playground 
and obviously the children are at play so I won't go through the gate I'll try and get as close as possible but you will notice now that I've um, slightly moved the tires so that they're wider and you'll just follow in between the tires round onto the junior playground so let's pick it up when we get round the corner Hey, join us in the quiet playground and we're just going to do a very very quick walk around the one-way system and we are heading towards the orchard as you can see and we'll be walking around onto the junior playground a little bit later I'll be going through where to drop your individual children your classes off I just wanted to show you the new one-way system now, we're now entering onto the junior playground. And so, just hopping over the old barriers. Now, going onto the infant playground. And this is really just to illustrate the one way system that we will expect you to follow and we're now nearly outside year one and this is going to be the change now previously we'd been using some of the field uh, to go past forest schools and out almost the way we came but from September we will be following all of us when we've dropped our children off the one-way system and we will be walking between these posts past the reception paddock and all of the way down towards the double gates which some of you will of course know from our summer fairs I don't often use it but we're going to bring this into play and here we go we will be exiting all of us through these double gates to this of course it's shut but I will pick up where we're to go in a moment okay we're now the other side of those double gates that we just showed you and we're in uh, the staff car park, the quieter staff car park, going past the children's centre and we've done the full loop and the exit will be all the way down down the right hand path all the way down in a one-way system so year three will also be collected from the junior hall door and then when it's safe to say goodbye to the children into the care of you as parents or carers you will be expected to go the long way round we're hoping it's going to be some good exercise for families all the way around following again the quiet playground then onto the junior playground then onto the field and then of course popping out by the children's center double gates on the field Now, if your child is in year four, you'll notice that you would have come in onto the quiet playground and we would like you to bring your child to this door here, which is, of course, the music room door. And remember your social distancing when you're dropping off and picking up. So year four, picked up and dropped off, or I should say dropped off and picked up at the music room door. and for children in year six they come round 
and they pop themselves into this classroom door here which is uh, 6D and this classroom door here which is 6I. Now in terms of picking up the children at the end of the day, remember for years five and six it's one parent only and we are asking that you congregate in the netball court which is here the yellow markings now let's move on we're going down again towards infants and for year two of course dropping them off this is uh, green class and orange class and if your child is in year one you're very familiar with this just coming around the corner here dropping them off here straight in blue class door and of course down here is the violet class door. Now here we are outside the double doors to the library and this is where our year fives will enter and so just to reiterate we're asking that children in both years five and six walk to school independently uh, that they're dropped off at the main gate but of course in the evening um, they will, unless they've got permission to walk home on their own, require a parent or carer to collect them. And so they will come out of this double door and we are asking that you as parents congregate in the basketball court, which is the white line. So your five parents will socially distance in the basketball court. And just to put everything into context, Year six parents will congregate in the netball court, which is the yellow lines. And then hopefully that means that we can keep everybody nice and safe and nice and separate. And so once again, once you've picked up your child, you will make your way towards the field and follow the way out via the double gates uh, by the children's centre.